Hey Techno Studs, in this video we're going to talk first of all about what security is. And from the first glance, this may seem like it's pretty obvious to you. However, I can say that for me personally, the idea of what security means in a company has altered over time and it's changed over time. And so I think it's helpful for us to understand what security is and what it isn't before we get too in depth into talking about all of these security principles. So in this video, what we're gonna talk about is defining what that security is. We're gonna take a look at the security triad, which gives us a view into what affects security and how we define security. Then we're gonna talk about some threat examples of what can threaten security of the company. And then we'll talk about impact and what are some impacts that lack of security can have on your company. In many big businesses, there's a department that's dedicated towards security. It's a security department, and their job is to make sure that the business is secure. But in many, many small companies, they don't have the resources that can dedicate a whole department towards security. And so a lot of times security will fall into the IT department or one of the technical departments. And so when it does that, we often think of security as being, well, it's specific to to just electronics and IT and infrastructure, but it does expand beyond those realms. So when we, th when we look up the definition of security on uh, Google, we just do a Google search for it, it says free from danger or threat. And there's a lot of things that are outside this technical realm that can affect the company as well, that puts the company at risk, puts the uh, company at danger or threat. And so there needs to be a really broad look at security. And even to the point where, you know, yes, we're looking at our networks and making sure our equipments are, are, are hard in and make sure that we are even developing code so that way when our code goes out, it's functioning correctly. But it goes beyond that. And even like competitors to the business is a threat to the business. And that also needs to be looked at as well. So even it may not fall necessarily into the IT department to look at some of those aspects, but a company does need to take the big picture with it. Then we have this term cybersecurity. And that's probably the term when, when I said initially said security, you probably immediately jumped to cybersecurity. You know, how to lock down your networks, how to protect, how to protect networks, devices, and data from unauthorized access or criminal use. And that is definitely important. It should definitely be, be a big key to what we're doing. But I just want to impress upon you, we do also have that security from the overall perspective that if this is talking about the data in electronic form, we need to make sure that we also are thinking about when do we get rid of uh, data that's not in electronic form, that is in paper form. And so there, there are other aspects to security as well. Uh, and then we also see this and the practice of ensuring confidentiality, integrity, availability of information. So this is where also it's a bigger scope here than what we may traditionally think of as security. So let's get into uh, cybersecurity talk. We're going to talk in depth about cybersecurity, but we may also take uh, every once in a while, take that broader scope of security and what security just in general has for uh, when, when it comes to implementing security. Within the security community, we have this thing called the security triad. The security triad is a way to view what is the responsibility of the security department or of whoever is responsible for security within the company. And it comes in three parts, hence the word triad. Uh, it comes in the, first of all, confidentiality, availability, and integrity. So when you think about it, let's think about it from a customer perspective. If you have a, let's say you're a company that has um, your customers access some sort of web page or website, the availability would mean that it's up and running, that they are able to get to that website. And it can be really problematic if let's say you are selling things online, but that site goes down and you can no longer sell things online, that has an impact on the bottom line. You can't sell things anymore and some of those customers are lost forever. Some of those customers will come back, 
but some of the customers won't ever come back and buy your product. So availability is very important to the company and making sure that your networks are available and your resources are available. The next thing is that we'll talk about is integrity. Integrity would be is that nothing is altered. So getting back to the website example once again is let's say a hacker compromises your website and they redirect your customers to another website and now they're purchasing from somebody else. They may even think that they're purchasing from you, but now they're purchasing, purchasing somebody, uh, something from somebody else. That's the integrity of this site, making sure the integrity, the the data doesn't change. In my example with the website, that the website doesn't change and people are not putting, hackers are not putting up uh, the wrong information on your website. Uh, that data has an integrity to it. So then there's confidentiality. And so maybe your customers are getting online and they're purchasing something from your website and now you have a breach and the credit card information that users were entering into your site is now in the outside world. That's a breach of confidentiality. They had, you had customer data and then it was exposed to the outside world that it wasn't supposed to be. So now there's a breach of confidentiality. So within these confidentiality, availability, and integrity, we need to think about how can we create secure networks so we don't have a breach of confidentiality, we don't have a breach of availability, and we don't have a breach of integrity. So what could threaten confidentiality, availability, and integrity? Well, many of us probably think a hacker, which of course is true because a hacker will try to affect each one of these depending on what type of hacker it is. Uh, so that is problematic. But there are other threats to this as well. And so an example of another threat is let's say you had a fire in your data center. Well, that could definitely affect the availability of that data, the availability of the website, availability of whatever uh, resource that you have. And so that could be an example if there's a fire or an earthquake or some sort of electrical issue that could definitely affect this security triad. Another thing too is changes that happen on your network. If you have changes that are happening, in fact, quite often, more often, a lot more often, it's not a hacker that's breaking into my network. It's one of my employees has made a change on the network and it's changed the way things operate. And if that could definitely affect availability and it can definitely affect confidentiality if there's some sort of security breach because of the change. And so, so that can definitely affect it. It also, when we talk about security, we're talking about a lot of processes that happen in the back end to make sure you have availability, confidentiality, and integrity. One of those processes is an incident response plan. What are you going to do if there's an incident? So let's say we have availability where it has gone down, we're lacking availability, our website has gone down. How do we respond to that? How do we get the necessary players that are going to fix the issue on board and start fixing the issue? And so an incident response plan is one of the processes that can, uh, it won't stop availability it won't it won't make your, your systems uh, more available in the sense that it can't go down but once it does go down making sure that that is short-lived and you get up and running very quickly so those are some examples of it really is all, it's all encompassing and there's a lot that goes into a full security program When there is a security incident that causes a loss of availability, a loss of confidentiality, or a loss of integrity, it can really impact your business. And it can impact it in many different ways. So I'm gonna list a few examples here, but these are just examples, and the list is much longer than this. But one of the things that it can do is it can impact your brand. That is, your company has a certain reputation out there. And if, if, it is, uh, if it's a good reputation, 
reputation and a, there's a security incident, it really can swing the other way and you can have a lot of dissatisfied customers and really impact how they feel about your company. So you could have a loss of customers from that. They could say, I'm not going to do business with you ever again, or I'm going to write reviews that are negative, which other people will read and then they're not going to be a customer of you as well. So it can be very impactful from that perspective. If some sort of data got in the hands of a competitor, maybe you have a loss of a competitive uh, advantage that you had. Maybe you had some sort of competitive advantage over other uh, competitors and then that information got out and now they started taking uh, taking your ideas and started uh, utilizing them to promote their own businesses and now you lose that competitive advantage. There could be a loss of revenue from all of this. There could be costly legal actions that happen, litigation that happens that you have to go through to resolve the issue and that uh, I can tell you is not fun at all. And then there's also uh, just the cost of notifying your customers. If there's some sort of uh, breach of confidentiality, then you have to notify your customers of what uh, what got stolen or what uh, got what where the breach was and what the breach looked like, and that can be very costly to notify your customers of that. So certainly a security breach of any kind is not a good thing and cause, can cause a lot of headaches. So we took a look at what is that, that term security? What does it mean? And we will be talking about a lot about cybersecurity and we'll be talking a lot about uh, specific security from a technical perspective, but it really goes beyond the scope of that. Uh, we also talked about the security triad, the confidentiality, availability, and integrity of the data, and now we can use that to start looking at what a security program should do for us. We talked about just a few of the threats that are out there can, that can affect confidentiality, integrity, and availability, and what impact those have on it. So uh, in future videos, we're going to get a lot more in depth into this, this security, and thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next video. Hope these videos are helping you out. If they are, can you help me out by hitting that like button?